Hello and welcome to a new Macho Case episode for Farming Simulator 15. Now that the Gold Edition and Patch 1.4.1 are out, we want to show you our list of plugins that add new features and we use to improve the game, so stay tuned. Plugins are installed like all other modifications, just put them in the mod folder of the game. Once that is done, all plugins are available in each new game and can also be used in any save game. In this category we ourselves use 25 modifications, which sometimes change small things and sometimes introduce entirely new concepts. Here is the list with the respective mods. We start out with Auto Combine. This modification extends the helper for all harvesters, whether simple combines, wheat or potato harvesters. To be specific, the helper can now drive the usual stripe pattern or in a circle from the outside to the inside. Additional options let you refine the patterns. We use this mod all the time to ensure that we can unload harvesters without having to move them around to get access to the pipe. The next mod is called Automatic Cutting Heights. It offers a simple but important function, namely the height of the cutter bar can be set automatically or manually to avoid the harvester getting stuck on the ground. Another mod that we use extensively is Bale Extension. This mod changes the whole system around bales. You can now create grass bales, weather and humidity are important now and the quality of the bale contents determine its selling price. There is more detailed information in one of our videos, click here to open it. The next mod is called Bale Feed Mod and adds functionality to bales. It is now possible to distribute the contents of bales manually, being it straw on the barn floor or other bale contents for feeding. This saves you the expenses for specialized machines if you are a small time farmer. You can find more details in one of our videos. One of the most extensive modifications is Drive Control. This mod expands the driving behavior of all vehicles and also offers additional modules for camera or other controls. All modules can be turned on or off individually. The modification engine braking effect reduces the brake force of vehicles in the game. This mod can be interesting for all players who want to see vehicles roll longer unless they actively brake. More details can be found in one of our videos. The next mod is called Silo Extension and extends the functionality of all silos in the game. From now on different fillings produce different end products and the aspect of compacting is now very important. More details can be found in one of our videos, click on the link to open it. A small but useful mod is called Field Cell. This modification simply allows you to sell fields in your possession. Another mod that we use is called Fuel Adjust. This mod changes the fuel consumption of vehicles, to be exact, it now depends on engine load, meaning plowing consumes more than driving on the road. The values are also displayed in the hut on the lower right. The next mod we no longer want to play without is GPS. It adds a GPS to all vehicles, however, it is specifically designed for field work. The lanes that get displayed can serve as driving aid or, if using an automatic mode, steer the vehicle autonomously. For more details on all the features you can watch one of our videos, click here to open it. Green Chopping Mod is a modification for simulation fans. It shifts the right time for chopping plants to the pre-ripening stage, meaning the stage prior to the actual harvest. Click on the video to know more. A relatively new mod is called Heap Tip Trigger. This mod allows to dump standard fruits onto a heap everywhere on the map. Most machines are already supported by the mod. An add-on lets modders add additional fruits if they so desire. The Inching mod is a small mod that does only one thing. It slows down a vehicle on the press of a button. This is especially useful with activated cruise control or when maneuvering. The next mod is called Inspector. 
It extends the UI in the game to display vehicles and their cargo, meaning you can see what your helpers do and when you will have to unload them. More details can be found in one of our videos. Another mod for simulation fans is manual attaching. With this mod you can now get out of the vehicle and couple devices to your tractor manually. Click here to get more details from one of our videos. The rental mod is an extensive modification that allows all vehicles and machinery in the game to be rented for a limited time. As a small farmer you don't have to purchase big machinery anymore. You can now just rent and use them during harvest time for example, like you do in cooperative. The next mod is called Mouse Steering and is mainly of interest to keyboard and mouse users who want to use the mouse as steering tool. This mod makes it possible. For more details click on the link to open up one of our videos. The modification Multi Mowing extends the functionality of mowers in the game to allow for mowing of major plants like wheat to produce straw. If you use a map with a GMK mod, Multi Mowing adds an additional function. Namely, it increases the yield of grass when manure or slurry was applied beforehand. The next small modification that we use all the time is no collision camera. We always hated it when the camera collides with objects and starts to jump around. This mod solves that problem. Another mod that was first presented at the Mod Contest 15 is Real Terrain. Vehicles now react to the ground, which is especially visible when plowing, as the tires tend to sink into their furrow. More details can be found in one of our videos. The next small mod that we use is called Real Time. It adds two new values to the top right UI, namely the real lifetime and the in-game days that have passed since the start of the save game. The modification speed control extends cruise control by two memory slots. You can get all details on it in one of our videos, click on the link to open it. Another essential modification is time acceleration. This mod makes it possible to speed up in-game time to skip the night for example. More details can be found in one of our videos. Whenever we play on a map without soil mod, we use a modification called Growth Manager. This mod regulates growth in the game, which now takes place at midnight. In addition, you can set the growth cycle to your liking. Another mod that we use without soil mod is called Green Manure mod. This mod allows for fertilization of the soil by working plants in. To be specific, you can now use plows and cultivators to work plants in, from the pre-ripening stage onwards to fertilize the soil. Here we show you an overview of all the mod plugins that we usually use. We tested all plugins with patch 1.4.1 and we also tested them all together with each other in a mod folder. Have fun with these mods guys and we want to thank all the modders who enrich this game so much with their ideas. The video description has more information and links and don't forget to thank the modders for their work.